Hey, you. The old man is waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to use the stairs. It's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See, I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? The only burden it causes is to criminal scum. I admire your confidence. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? I am happy to comply with any activity that improves effectiveness. You're a good sport. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me. Is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Oh. Holy shit! What was that? Robocop. Not such a piece of junk after all. Hey Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. OCP wants to raise towers of glass and steel. Go ahead. It's not where we live.
so cold. Luckily, the pre- Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening. Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. Has working with the police not made you change your ways? I need to keep up appearances. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much use as an informer, now would I? Now, nah, tell me. What's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gail. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Any witnesses? Uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind, and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go. What are you looking for? So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. Okay, let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible, saints, uh, cosmos, so... Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. He thinks that Salamanca deserved the Golden Piston for the best picture. I heard that, and it did. Garden of Earthly Delights? Oh man, great movie. Very elegant. Panned by the critics, though. But the director is a badass. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. Diamonds are made under great pressure. Wait. Do you think there's a diamond within me? Do you see my shine? I'm just messing with you. That was truly inspirational. But let's get back to it, because that's not our tape. Kind Shepherd? Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do we? I'm not so sure about that. Alex Murphy was given a second chance. But he... I mean, you really deserved it. The 
which is something I couldn't say about a lot of people. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the mood, but that's not the tape we're looking for. Nothing in thriller or drama. Okay, how about you check in the sci-fi and action section? I'll have a look at horror. Eve's flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool, is all I'm saying. Recognizing beauty in something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills, though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. Time to occupy yourself with something meaningful. What are you talking about? I'm a street entrepreneur. I keep myself busy, thank you very much. But we're still missing our tape. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. They give hope that there is more. Yeah. Plus, you get to meet the characters you liked again. That's why I don't hate them. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. Hey, I think I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire, but here it is. Isn't that the tape we're looking for? <clears throat> tape? What? What tape? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera, action! Drop! I need a hand over here! Do you need assistance? Just look who it is! First, I hear a bunch of movie puns, and then everyone starts shooting. It all happens so fast. Where is Pickles? He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. Pay for all this.
way. Talk. Ah, uh, I overheard some torchhead saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so I needed help. You will need even more help for lying to me. Shit. I, I don't even know if you're joking or not. I, I fucked up. I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours, diamonds are made under great pressure. I'm not a fucking diamond, okay? I'm a junkie. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? I will leave the money with you, if you spend it wisely. Uh, that's cold-blooded, man. But, thanks anyway. You're my savior, Tin Man. But what do I do with the money that I'm not supposed to spend on drugs? Like, what's the point? Greetings, citizen. Ah, the best cop in the hood is back. How can I be of service? I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new, and I don't know where I put the manual. Stand back. Go on, then. Let's see how it's done. I thought you knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, do you know what the problem is? The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car not starting. Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure... I'm guessing it's an easy fix. <laughs> it started. We're on the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't, but he asked me if I do paint jobs, too. Then showed me a ripped-out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean-looking bird onto his gas tank. 
Why do you think the design was intended for a tattoo? The page he handed me had other graphics, which were clearly tattoo designs. And, as far as I remember, it had the address of a tattoo parlor that's close by printed on the bottom of the page. What was the design you sprayed onto his motorcycle? It was some sort of bird, but I'm, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a botanist, but it had a bald head. Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor. Is that true? Mary has to close a restaurant? Two words. Delta City. Murphy, could you give us a hand? It's gotten real ugly in there. What happened? Can you believe this? A bunch of repeat offenders came up with a bright idea to storm the courthouse. For some reason, they think that if they destroy it, their prior convictions will go away. They took hostages and are now demanding both a 6,000 SUX and a plane to Acapulco. Acapulco is a war zone. I don't think these guys follow the news. But I'm afraid that it may be too late to rescue the hostages if we wait for SWAT. If they want to fly into a war zone, I have first-class tickets for them. start shooting their heads off, they don't meet our demands soon. Who? Hostages? The police? That's the problem, man. We're still waiting because nobody can understand what you mean. Look out! It's a...
Robocop! Heaven itself has sent you, Robocop! It was a nightmare! Robo, if you could call my boss and confirm what happened here. He wouldn't believe that I was taken hostage for the third time this week. Stay here. The police will come to question you. Hey, Robo, you showed them. It was a pleasure to work with you. Full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo then. It'll really bring out that jawline. How about I bring out your jawline? Hey man, no pressure. I was just trying to be helpful. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. What next? You gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Do you? You still here? I don't want my customers to confuse my parlor for an auto shop. I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Uh, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, oh, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Ugh. I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. Come on, come on! It is an honor to finally meet the hero of the city in person. It's a shame that our basketball team can't fill us with similar pride. Yeah, just lost to Atlanta. Some say it's because of a lack of team players. Do you think it's that important? Being a team player? Cooperation among police officers helps increase efficiency. And not just among police officers. I'm glad you look at it that way. As for me, I have always valued team play. That was the way things were when my parents worked for the city. My grandfather used to tell me that this neighborhood was a great place for an evening stroll. Now it's different. Kuzak allows the city to be taken over by criminals. 
he can't stop it because he's not a team player. He fails to realize that OCP has given this city its most precious treasure. You. I want to work with you and OCP to improve this city. I want to take care of your interests. It's about time someone did. But to make it a reality, we would need your support. So, what do you think about getting involved in politics? I follow politics, but I do not take sides. So you allow others to use you, becoming a pawn. You are the symbol of the city. Everything you do, everything you say, has a political impact. No matter if you talk privately or publicly, you should choose what you want to represent. Incompetence and unaccountability or partnership and determination. Only one of these paths leads Detroit to its former glory. You say you value team play. Together, let's form a team for the good of this city. We have a common goal. Together, it will be easier to achieve it. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. We're already late for another meeting. Now think about what we've discussed. About what we could do for this city. Together, as a team. I count on your support. Still no joy with the broadcast! Fucking OCP's good for nothing piece of shit. Be quiet, you moron! Yes, we'll get it working in no time, Mr. Wendell. Sir. Yes, we won't screw it up. He's using you, just like he used us. He hired us, but he failed to deliver. That's why we went to get what we were owed. Ah! Oh. Talk about a sore loser. You had your chance and you blew it. Now it's the Torchhead's turn. Deal with it, biker bitch! I wanted to say don't be stupid, but who would I be kidding? Oh, oh shit! We've got company! Mind if I join the party, creeps? You weren't invited! Let's crush this tin can! <laughs>
What did Wendell make you do? <clears throat> you saw it yourself. <clears throat> he needed us to extract brains from corpses. <clears throat> Most of my men didn't have the stomach for it. Why brains? <sighs> he would never say. Wendell keeps his cards close to his chest. Where is he? When? Now? <laughs> My bet it'd be in front of a screen, wherever that fucking signal is supposed to reach. Because he's always watching. Operator, request an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town, continuing pursuit. I hate the day shift. 